was the summer of 1916, and life seemed good. It was hot, one of the hottest summers on record. Beach bathing was now all the rage. Bigger than the bicycle, even bigger than the horseless carriage. Across the ocean, they were fighting a war, but nobody really thought we'd get caught up in it. Right off our own coast, German U-boats prowled the waters, looking for a kill. But that wasn't our problem. New York, Philly, Boston, were all facing a polio epidemic. Mothers were desperate to get their kids out of town to our beaches, where the air was fresh and clean. Then, out of nowhere, our own local crisis hit. It took us by surprise, and it knocked us for a loop. In some, it brought out the best. In others, well... That summer was hard, the hardest of my life. It started in July with those hot, sunny days. And if you were anywhere near the Jersey Shore, all you could think about was getting out of the heat and into that cool, cool water. Today. Hello, Louise. All set for a swim, are we, Stan? Yeah. You two can smirk all you want, but while I'm out here, I'll sell one of these suits. You wait and see. <laughs> Why not uh, put on a sandwich board and parade up and down? You are looking for trouble. Oh? And of what sort? It's too late for that. Hey, boys and girls, this way, please! So, Stan, did you come all the way down here just to advertise your shop, or is there something I can do for you? Uh, as a matter of fact, he escorted me. Alex, I need your opinion if you'd be so kind. Which one do you like better? Stanley refuses to offer an opinion about anything connected to the wedding, and I value a man's point of view on this one particular thing. Green. Goes with your eyes. See? <laughs> Thank you, Alex. I knew you would take me seriously. And you can keep the cake. Your 
genuine guaranteed sun browning lotion. Sun browning lotion, that's what I should be doing. That looks snake oil for two bits a bottle. Don't undersell yourself, Alex. You might be onto something. You could be the first one with your foot in the door. First one to get slammed on my nose, you mean? Alex, you don't want to be sitting in that chair five years from now. Um, look, I've been thinking. That's a dangerous pastime for you, sport. Ha ha. No, I was just wondering with our wedding coming up and, I don't know, you and Louise. Look, Stan, that was a long time ago. I wish only happiness for both of you. Happiness and nothing but. <sighs> Thanks, Alex. That means a lot to, to both of us. I'll see you later. Mother, there's loads of time. Why don't you come in? <laughs> All of you. Whoa, 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 easy there. So sorry. There's a lot of children around here. Sure, sure. How is it past the breakers? That's a little rough in spots. Oh, I'm at the temperature. I can handle the undertow. Well, it's cold. It'll sap your strength faster than you think. Thanks for your concern. Come on. Hey, come on. You want to swim? All right, ladies and gents. I'm gonna have to ask you to take this little social hour elsewhere. All right, see you, Danny. See you later, Danny. Danny, little chit-chat's all right, but you can't let it develop. Besides being a distraction, it's bad form. It's unprofessional. I had it covered. I really did. Uh-huh. Old man, gray hair, swimming goggles. 80 yards out, where'd he go? Crossed into my zone about two minutes ago. It's coming in now. Yeah, right. It's all about concentration, Danny. Can't afford distractions and be effective at this job, all right? Here, something to keep you going. What's, what's the...
I'd like you to meet the lifeguard who pulled young Van Zandt out of the water. Good job, son. Thank you, sir. Alex, Mr. Mien is the New Jersey Commissioner of Fisheries. He'd like to ask you a few questions. Of course. Just got back from the morgue. Ghastly sight must have given you quite a shock. The Van Zandts have been coming to our hotel since Charles was a boy. Well, I couldn't have felt worse if I'd lost one of my own. I spoke with Mrs. Van Zandt briefly. Please, sit down. But you can imagine, under the circumstances, she wasn't able to help us much. Now, is it true you told the coroner it was a shark attack? Yes, sir. Did you see a shark yourself? No, sir, but I did see what it was doing. It was... Did you actually see, with your own eyes, something you could positively identify as being a shark? Well, no, sir, but... Well, I, how did you come to the conclusion that it was one? Well, the man had a huge bite taken out of his leg. What do you think it was? What I think it was, what you think it was, is unimportant. I have to take an analytical approach, work with the facts. There are all kinds of predators out there. The ones that attack like that? I'm not just talking about animal life. We've got German U-boats here, son, in these very waters. I wouldn't even completely rule out a, an air torpedo. A torpedo? Alex, Mr. Meehan's simply trying to do his job. All right, I'm sorry, but whatever it was, you are going to close the beach, at least until you know for sure. Aren't you? Well, I only control this little piece right here. But so far, Mr. Meehan doesn't think a closing is warranted. There's never been an unprovoked shark attack on these shores, not in my lifetime, anyhow. It's a scientific fact. Killer sharks won't swim inshore. But suppose one did. Supposing one did. It would have been a freak occurrence. Is that right? Uh-huh. Whatever did that would be well on its way back out. But what if... What if Alex, it... nobody's asking you to take this on your shoulders. We'll make sure this gets the attention it deserves. So. See ya. Hey, Lester. Yeah? Get one for me? I'll try. Hey, Alec! Got some fish for you. What's the matter with you? Did you get fired? Guess you didn't hear about the attack. Oh, yes, that I did. Yeah, was it you that pulled him in? Yeah. You know, it takes a mighty brave man to go into the water when he knows he's sharing it with a shark. How'd you know it was a shark? Well, that's what the scuttlebutt has. Well, you were there. Was it a shark? Well, I didn't actually see it. But you saw its work, right? You saw the bite. Yeah, I saw the bites. How big? That's a big one, all right. You know, there's a warm current coming in from the uh, south and uh, east. And probably pulled in something like a bull, perhaps a tiger. The man from Fish and Game said that a shark wouldn't attack a swimmer. Well, you see, that old shark, he didn't read the same book as the man from the Fish and Game. See, sharks don't think like us. But believe me, when that was happening, Everything made perfect sense to that shark. Alex, are you all right? They left the beach open. You know, they used to say that if your dog got hold of a chicken, you'd have to shoot it. 
As once it got a taste for poultry, it would keep wanting more. Hey, hey, Alex, how are you situated? You know, the, the fish ain't biting right at the moment, and this old shark is just starving to death. Starving my foot. I'm just thirsty. Well, that too. And, and, and thirsting to death is even worse. Ah, you're a good boy. Hey, come out of that water with all the tin toes? Last time I checked. You can stay like that till the end of the summer, you'll be ahead of the game. Thanks, Cap. Well, well, the man of the hour. Mr. Mayor. Alex, we heard. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, finish what you were doing. Oh, finished. Right, Stanley? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, unless there's anything else you require. No, no. Fine piece of work. Did they, um, find out what caused the accident? Not certain, but, uh, possibly a shark. It's a, a pity about that boy. I understand he's from a good family, too. I'll have it ready for you Thursday, sir. Perfect. Now, how about that second suit? <laughs> well, 20% off. Light imported wool with this hot spell we've been having. <laughs> Stanley, you're a go-getter. No one can deny that. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, if you knew for sure it was a shark and it was all up to you, would you close the beach? I can't really say, Alex. I, uh, I guess I'd leave it to the experts. Now, would you hear the A's beat the Red Sox yesterday? Well, I guess Boston's got to let somebody else slip through once in a while. Alex, keep up the good work. You sure you're all right? Stan, a man up and dies, maybe from a shark attack, and you and the mayor get going on baseball? I didn't want to put him on the spot right here in my shop. He's the mayor. That's his job. Yeah, okay, okay, but settle down. You don't just walk into a concert hall and yell fire unless you're damn sure. Besides that, maybe you forgot who's coming to town tonight? What's that got to do with anything? Woodrow Wilson, president of the United States, Alex. The man could have his summer vacation anywhere, but he comes back to his home state. Why? To help promote the sea bathing craze. Alex, the hotel you work at wasn't even there when we were kids, remember? Just look at Matawan. Now it's a real town. You could tear all that down by speaking too soon about something you're not 100% sure of. What if it happens again? You know, I hope you run for office someday. I'd vote for you. For God's sake, Stan, it's not just about good business, is it? That's not what I meant. Doesn't a man still have to stand for something? Alex, don't go away mad. I'll see you later. Change! Industrial development has come so rapidly that it has created a world far different than that which we were born into. But 
As one frontier closes, so another new frontier has opened. And yet America has never been better equipped to march towards this new frontier with courage, ingenuity, but above all, a commitment to making this world a more humane place. And so I say to you, my fellow Americans, do not fear this change. Life as we know it will endure. America will continue to prosper. Our shores will be safe from war. Alex. Thanks for coming. It's okay, Mr. Engel. Great man, our president. Yes, sir. Let the Germans and the French fight all they want. He'll keep us out of the war. Look, son, I, I want you to know I've been on Commissioner Meehan's back all afternoon. He just telephoned to let me know they've been talking with all the experts. You know, big museums in New York and such. Yes, sir. They're all saying the same thing. Assuming it was some kind of an attack from a shark, there's absolutely no chance of it ever happening again. Freak occurrence. One in a million. That's good science, son. Something you can rely on. Yes, sir. Thanks for letting me know. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. No day off? I think I'd just as soon get back on the job if it's all the same to you. Of course. Of course. Good man. Alex! Louise. I'm so glad to see you. I was worried. It must have been so awful. I'm fine. Thanks. Stanley told me what you said, your good wishes for us. I meant it. I really hope you're getting what you want. Of course, it's what I want. So, everything turned out for the best. That's right. We looked each other in the eye and agreed. It wasn't meant to be. Have you ever had any second thoughts? That's not a fair question. Suppose I had... Louise. What about you? What about me what? You know what? The question is no more fair when you ask it. Fair enough. He's a good catch, Louise. You made the right choice. You're a dear friend. I hope it will be for always. The day after Charles Van Sant was buried, six days after the attack, the trains were full. The hotels were booked, and the beaches were packed. What happened to Van Sant can never happen again. Still, most people did little more than get their feet wet. Looks like you're slowing down a bit there, champ. Don't surprise me at all. I'm way out of practice. 
think you'll try again? Try what? The Olympics. What else? Well, first they're gonna have to end the war. They're gonna keep canceling the damn thing. Second, it was just a tryout. It's not like it would've really made the team. Sounds like you're still pretty upset about it. How old are you, Danny? 19. Well, I'm not 19 anymore, and I'm still out here on this beach. And yeah, being in the Olympics, even if it was a tryout, it would at least been something. Damn! What? Those boys are out too far. No, 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 no whistles. Everyone's too jittery. They're in Kirkwood zone. Will you do me a favor? Go over there and tell them to swim out there and bring them in closer. I'll take care of it. All right. Be careful. Hey, fellas. Huh? Yeah. You've drifted a little too far out here. Well, we're good swimmers. We got the two. Fine and dandy, but you need to be closer to shore. Oh, come on. OK, I'll tell you what. I'll race you to shore, and you guys can have a head start. All right. What? Alex, for God's sake, son. Good science, Mr. Angle. Good science, isn't that what you called it? Uh, just calm down before... No chance of it happening again? Isn't that what the experts said? Nobody should have been in that water, Mr. Angle. Nobody! Alex, all of us are upset. Will you do one thing for me, Mr. Angle? Will you go out there and take your good science and your no chance of it happening again and you explain it all to Danny Bruder's family? Good afternoon, gentlemen. I'm Frederick Lucas, director of the museum, and I'm joined today 
by Dr. John Nichols, our resident ichthyologist. Now, as you were aware, the federal government and the state of New Jersey have asked us to conduct an investigation into the recent shark attacks along a New Jersey shore. Uh, sir, didn't the two of you recently publish an article stating that sharks are never aggressive and that a shark attack on humans is not scientifically possible? The article you cite was not quite as unambiguous as you portrayed. <laughs> Nevertheless, you can imagine how concerned and intrigued we are as we watch science turn another page. Sir, what, sir, sir, what can you say to the 30 mayors along the Jersey Shore, all of whom are trying to allay the fears of panicked vacationers? I'll hand that one off to Dr. Nichols, who will be conducting the investigation in the field. John. <coughs> we continue to believe that uh, another attack is highly unlikely. However, caution is always in order, or uh, perhaps I should say precaution. Sir, how do you plan on protecting the public? I assume you're aware of the steel fences that are being installed in the water down at Asbury Park and some of the other shore resorts. We feel this is an adequate response at this time to restore confidence in the community. Uh, any other questions? Yes, uh, sir, over here, here sir. Sorry. So, Murphy. Are you coming or not? I, I don't like New Jersey. It's hot down there. Oh, and it's not hot here? We'll be near the water. I know a chap has got a boat. With a motor. Hmm? All right, but just promise me it doesn't involve any dangerous animals, will you? Oh. It'll be an adventure, Murphy. A very profitable. Where the hell have you been the last two days? We've been worried sick about you. I'm sorry, I need a little breather. You dress down your boss, you quit your job, and you just take off? Stan, there was a little matter about a couple of shark attacks. I think you heard about them. All right. Look, you have my undying support on the principle of the thing. It took some sand to quit, and I admire you for that. There's a butt in there somewhere. Alex, you don't think about the future. Something like this could hurt you. Supposing you wanted to set up a business, that sun browning thing, or I don't know. What are you driving at, Stan? I could talk to Mr. Engel. I'm sure he'd take you back in a flash. Would you please kindly tell me? Damn what it, you... Alex, it looks like you chickened out. That's what it looks like, huh? What about you, Stan? Is that what you think happened? I didn't say Let that. me tell you something. I can't respect a man who would put people's lives in danger just to keep his business open. That is not And I sure don't I... intend to work for one. Mm -hmm. And I sure don't give a damn how it looks to you or anyone else on the face of this earth. Ooh. Alex, I hear you're looking for a job. I need a bigger town. Hey, 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 steady on now, steady on. Hey, Bauman. Yeah, You might find a drink here. And one for me. No, no. All right, I'm buying it. I'm buying it. I got a job. Got to put up a big fence to stop those big fish with sharp teeth from nibbling those babies. Consequently, I'm in the market for a first mate. Such a man should be strong of arm, have no brains whatsoever, and above all, must be able to hold his liquor. You got it? Yeah. That's it. All right. As soon as we got this section in, I'm going to catch us all some fish for supper. Huh? While you're at it, why don't you catch the shark? There's a reward out. Notice you said the shark instead of a shark. Most people assume it's just one. 
like a mad dog. And what if they're wrong? More damn sharks out there this year than I've ever seen. Warm tide bringing them in. What if they're just in the mood to bite? Hmm? Happens to other fish, why not then? Well, whichever it is, it won't be happening on this beach anymore. Amen to that. Okay, it's the usual drill. We've assessed as we can. Stay close to me. If you see anything, don't panic. Just sing out and swim for the ladder. All right? Yes, sir. Let's go. Any man here does not have the stomach, nor the steadiness of hand. For what we do, go home now. Otherwise, take five minutes and we're back to work. Get that uh, cupboard. Don't want to be in the water with that, eh? Well done. Well done, boys. Well done. Well done. Now, will you kindly tell me what it is you're cooking off? I just want to walk around for a bit, take it in. It's so exciting, all these people. To see the sun. It's good for you. Aren't you interested in beach feeding? It sounds mighty dangerous to me. Are you aware of the fact they've had shark attacks here? Now you're getting the idea. What? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Murphy! Come on, I'll buy you a beer. All right. Mr. Fisher, please, 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 please. Oh, I don't know, fellas. I'm kind of tired. But the other team is Mr. Burlew, and we need a grown up, too. And they're not half bad. <laughs> Buster. Mom. Buster. Mr. Fish is a busy man. I'm sure you boys can find someone else to play. Aww. Actually, Mrs. Stillwell, I was just about to say yes. Yeah. As long as I get to be on your son's team. Oh, my God. Let's go. Let's go. Okie dokie. Who's our best fielder? Right here. Oh, ho, ho, you guys have been practicing again. Highball. 
Very good. We're ready for the lead. Out into the outfield. Over here, over here, Alex. It's on back. Hi, Stan. Hi, Alex. Well, I'm just gonna clean these, put them on a plate. Ready for you, Stan. Uh, thanks, Cap. Uh, rain check. Let me tune there, Cap. Oh, I didn't sorry. mean to. Are we gonna play yet, Mr. Fisher? Mr. Fisher? I'll meet you at the field in a minute. See ya. Sorry I spilled beer on you. Yeah, it smelled like a saloon. Took a lot of explaining to Louise. <laughs> I know you meant well. It wasn't my place to judge. I got to thinking about what you went through out there on that damned beach. Stan, I sent Danny Bruder out there. Hey. You were doing your job. He was doing his. Yeah, but... Same if it was the other way around. Danny wouldn't want you to be putting yourself through all this. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Now. Time is running out. You better come in tomorrow. Let me cut you a suit. Oh, Stan, no, I couldn't accept. I gotta have my best man looking his best. Is tomorrow good for you, knuckleball? I'll have to check my appointment, spitball. I never threw a spitball in my life. Oh, I don't and know you about know it. that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Losing your touch there, spitball. Ah. Welcome, Dr. Nichols. Can I take your bag? This one is just the other three. Thank you. Dr. Nichols! Dr. Nichols, what kind of shark is it? Is there um, just one? I'm sorry, the uh, museum has no statement to make at this time. Is the president planning to go swimming here today? I would have no idea. Good afternoon. Well, it's sweet 24 weeks. Here you are. Oh, thanks, Eddie. My pleasure. Bring your catch in here anytime. Yeah. Thanks, Ken. Pardon me, I'm uh, looking for Mr. Treadnought. Oh, yes, he's right over there. Alex. Ah, <laughs> good evening. I'm uh, John Nichols, uh, ichthyologist with the Museum of Natural History in New York. Good evening. Uh, could I uh, have a moment? Uh, sure. Just, just let me get these plates out of the way. What kind of ologist did you say you were? Um, ichthyologist. I'm a fish man. <laughs> uh, Please have a seat. No, oh, thank you. I'm uh, here about the uh, shark attacks. Oh, well, I don't know how much help I can be to you, Mr. Nichols. I, uh, I really didn't see that much. Oh, I, I was under the impression you were there for both attacks. Well, it's funny. A lot of people who were nowhere near the place can give you all kinds of gory eyewitness details. I was too busy pulling those boys out of the water to really pay much mind to the shark. I understand, but you probably saw more than you think. Now, in your statement, you said that young Mr. Bruder was struck numerous times? Yes, sir, I did see that. Uh, with great force? Huh. Um, as I understand it, Mr. Bruder's legs were never recovered. Now, did you see them during the attack? I'm upsetting you, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm uh, here for several days. Uh, perhaps we could talk again? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pretty easy to find. Mr. Nichols? Just, uh, what, what does an ichthyologist do? Uh, study fish. Talk about fish, write about fish. And you went to school for this? Perhaps more than I should have. <laughs> Better to be out there in the water with the fish, huh? Yeah, except when the big ones bite. There is that. Thanks for your time. I 
On July 12, 1916, the sun rose at 5.37 a.m. The Gulf Stream continued its flow inshore, warming the waters. Morning, Navy. Hey, Cap. Get a kind of early start, aren't you? Ah, uh, well. Gotta get back for it. Gets too hot. Got a steady job. You first mate. Hmm? I can't be bad. You want some? No, thanks. Gotta get to work. Mm. Catch me a couple for lunch, will ya? Be my pleasure. Ah, those fish will be biting today. Dad? Yes, son? Can I go swim after work? Sure By 8 o'clock, it was already hot and humid. Let mother know. I will. The people of Matawan went to work, ran their businesses, took care of their kids. Have a good day, son. Just like they always did. By nine, it was clear. It was gonna be a real scorcher. Good morning, Frank. A good day for the beach. Frank, you look confused. Uh, sometimes I am confused, Stanley. You know, just remember, you arrest the bad guys and you cut the customer's hair, not the other way around. Thanks, brother. Never gotten it backwards yet. <laughs> Thank God. <clears throat> With the heat rising, the folks from the cities forgot about the sharks and headed for the beaches in record numbers. It was now 12 days since the first attack. It's lunchtime, everybody. It's lunch. Michael, why a shark could bite that in half without even trying? Oh, not hunt with that. We're just gonna scout around in it to see what we can see. You can do as you please. I'm on the next train out of here. Murphy, I am disappointed in you. Now, do I know animals? We're gonna go out there. We're gonna take a look around, then I'll know where to bring the fishing boat. I've got a sixth sense about these things. We'll see. Eight feet, Michael. I hope you get back all right. Hey. You're a long way from home, aren't you? Chief of Police. Frank, for you. Come on, hello. Hello. Hey, Frank, Frank. Slow down. Who's talking? It's Cap. It's Cap, Frank. Listen, listen. I, there's, a, I, there's a large shark heading up the creek. A shark, you say? Yeah, that's right. Just, uh, I'm at Matawan Bridge. I look down. There's a large shark, and he's heading up the creek. In the creek? <laughs> now do something about it. You'd have a better chance of seeing an elephant cooling off down there. <laughs> Frank, listen to me. Frank, Frank, Frank. Damn it! Slow down, Cap. Slow down. Listen, I'm gonna need your boat. I need your boat. Will you listen to me? 
Hey, come on, guys. We swimming or what? How much longer, Lester? Well, I, I usually don't get off until 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. Oh, gosh, we're going to go on to that. Yeah. But, but, but. Lester. Yes, sir? By my count, you've put on 100 handles so far? Y yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm afraid I might get overstocked. Believe you better knock off early today. Yes, sir. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, yeah let's get yeah, come on. on. Let's go, guys. This is great. Let's go. You keep away from the water. There's a shark in here. There's a shark. Now you listen to me. Keep out of that water, or I will tell your dad, and he will whop you. Us. He'll run us off. What do you do? Shark. Oh, come on, Red. We're almost four miles up river. Yeah, there's blood out there. Maybe he's head on the rock. Oh, he started vomiting or something. Oh, my God. How long has he been under? Talking about? We, we got, got a damn shark in the 
to see if we don't catch him with something. No. That's all for me. I'm getting out of here. Stan? Stan? Stan, you better get out. You all right? Get a bit out, This man is going in a shock. Stay with me, Stan. 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 I need to get him to a hospital immediately. Shark! Shark! Have a darn scream! Stop at this alone. Not anymore, it's not. Is the track clear? I've been trying to tell him. We yeah, just that's got That's against the regulation. Listen, my best friend is gonna die if we don't get him to a hospital now. I'm sorry, but My Mac. best friend is gonna die. This train is gonna be in Asbury Park in 30 minutes with you driving or me.
what she said. Get out of there! Where? With four people killed in 12 days, and young Joe Dunn fighting for his life, the shark claimed yet another victim, the beach towns. Business was dying. It seemed like the whole country had gone shark mad. Lester's body still hadn't been found, but not for lack of trying. Everyone either wanted to kill the shark or make a buck off it. The circus was in town. Tempting as that sounds, sir, but it's simply not my main concern here. It wasn't just the experts and the fakes, but good people got drawn up in it too. They have been known to take a man's hand. How long did it take you to land her? Hard to tell. Time plays tricks when you're fighting for your life. How can you be sure this one's the killer? Because when I hold her aboard. A lump of human flesh and bone fell out of her mouth. <clears throat> yeah, well, uh, that's about all we got time for for this group, I'm afraid. Uh, thank you very much. Move along the next group now, please.
Alex. I'm going shark hunting, Dr. Nichols. And I'd appreciate it very much if you could tell me what I'm looking for. I think what you're after is a great white shark. Have you got a minute? It's one of nature's marvels. Carcharodon carcareus, the biter with jagged teeth. There were creatures not unlike it in the age of the dinosaurs. You know, <clears throat> it can grow to be 20 feet or more. Well, the ones I saw weren't anywhere near that big. And my examination of the victim's wounds confirms that, Alex. It's a juvenile if it is a great white. I haven't ruled out the possibility of a bull shark, uh, the fact that it uh, went up the creek. Bulls can survive in fresh water, uh, Lake Nicaragua, uh, up the Zambezi in Africa. How do I find it? <sighs> We've been wrong about so much, but uh, my guess is it's a rogue that uh, followed the current inshore, found a new source of protein, marked out its territory, it's still in the bay. I'd look where it's already been successful. Successful? Are you sure I can't talk you into coming with me? Yeah. When the Museum of Natural History goes on a shark hunt, Alex, or any other kind of hunt, it must do it in a, a certain way. So I, unfortunately, must decline. Well, I appreciate your time, Dr. Nichols. Alex, uh, if you're determined to go ahead with this, please be careful. Don't do it on your own. The Great White is a highly aggressive creature. It will attack willfully and with astonishing force. I know. Hello, Alex. I'm sorry about your friend. You're the doctor. No, just a good Samaritan. Who, in the course of exercising his profession, gained some experience in traumatic injury. What profession would that be? I'm a, a trainer of dangerous animals at the Bonham and Bailey Circus and a taxidermist. Michael Schleiser. Please take a seat. So you're a lion tamer? And other beasts. I train them, hunt them, speak to them, and stuff them if they misbehave. <laughs> and you're here for the shark? Maybe. It all depends on my mood when I wake up in the morning. So if I said that you were going after the shark, would I be correct? I suppose you would. What do you know about sharks? Very little. But it doesn't matter. I have a special feel for animals. I can't explain it. Let me guess. You want the shark. But it's not about the money. You do realize there is a reward. Oh, I do. But you're right. It's not about the money. So you're seeking either fame or revenge. You see, Alex, revenge implies a debt. You owe someone. Maybe a couple of someones. And you pay with the predator's life or with your own. And you don't particularly care which way it goes, which makes you the most dangerous predator of them all. You know, if this shark could be talked to death, you'd sure be the one to do it. You know, there was a moment when I, I thought we might be able to help one another, Alex. But I believe that you would be a danger to me. And to yourself, I made it. Mr. Schleicher, I just don't want to see anybody else get killed. Mm. 
Gonna hang that thing up there every day until it rots? That thing, as you call it, made me a pretty bundle today. You just went out and caught it on the end of a line, huh? Well, I guess that means you made the water safe for us all. All right, all right. What'd you do, go out and buy that thing? Yeah. A few miles up the coast. Paid a couple of dollars. Damn it! Can't a man try to make a buck out of this situation? Look, Alex, I wanted to go after the killer, and I knew you did too. Especially after Stan. But you, you, you see, you, you, see you, you get all heated up and go after revenge, and that devil gets you in the water. What are you saying? You did this for me? Well, I won't say I didn't. Cap, four people are dead. That little boy you pulled out of the creek is barely hanging on. Don't you understand? If people think it's safe to go back in the water right I now... I know that! Cap, you gotta come clean about what you did before somebody else gets hurt. First thing tomorrow morning, you gotta go into that town and tell them what you did. You know what they think of me in that town? I was running down the streets warning them they were laughing at I know, and that was wrong, Cap, but you turned out to be right. No, 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 no. I'd sooner die than face them. Well... There's only one good way I can think of to avoid all that. Damn you, boy. You're twice as smart as a revenue man and three times as devious. Get your gear and come on board. Well, this is all fine and dandy. If we don't get ourselves killed with your damn shark. It's not my damn shark. Take your helm a second. Yeah, hold it steady on that course. Yeah. Hmm. Think like a shark. Yeah, see. Talking in and out about on the tide. He was waiting for us when the guys were firing in the water. Then he goes out. Goes out and finds that warm current again. Now where is the warm current? I can see. That's where your damn shark is. Just there. Exactly there. You'll take about a hundred square miles. <laughs> Don't worry. Bring around a port. Ah, right, let's uh, lay a line of chum down along the ridge line and uh, do a little trolling for shark. Cap off the bow. What? Look. What the hell? Some fools made a shark a tidy breakfast, maybe. All right. Let's go and have a look at it. Slicer? What in the hell are you doing here? Never mind. Just leave. Please. Thank you very much. Well, what are you doing here? Presumably the same thing that you are. But I can tell you that I was here first, 
that I have an anchor planted and you do not. Are you saying you're trying to catch the shark that just about took my head off? That's precisely my plan. That shark is bigger than your boat. She'll swamp you sooner than you can spit. Sir, let's not debate the final points of how to catch the shark, or whether it is indeed a she or a he. For some unknown reason, as you've obviously seen, it's attracted to this little boat and to the unique personality of the person seated here before you. Don't ask me why. And suppose you don't get capsized and eaten outright. Wait, you plan to reach out and bop it on the head? I'm dragging a net. The shark will get caught up in that net. It'll take me on a long ride, and then it'll die, and that'll be that. That is the dumbest idea I've ever heard in my entire life! If you would be so kind as to just give me a little more room. Alex. Alex, <laughs> this man... He's as crazy as a loon. Oh, yeah. Now he's gonna get us killed. What do you want to do? I don't know. What? Holy oh. Shark in the net! Get the ball! Keep an eye on it! Hang on! Look at that! Pop! Pop! Slicer, hang on! That's it! Come on! Yeah! Oh, hurry up! You're not the spice! Give me a dead man! That's it, save it up! Jeff, hurry up! Hang on, Slicer! Get the gun! Get the gun! Whoa. I'm gonna try and gap it! You see? I told you! Hold on! Hold on, hold as she goes! Oh. Holy stuff! Back her down, Jeff! Where are you? Hold her, boys, hold her! Oh. Oh. All right, there we are. Let her pull for a while, eh? She's deserved it.
Now we got us a shark, gentlemen. <laughs> it's an odd gift. I don't know where it comes from. I simply knew where to go. I knew the shark would come there, attracted to the boat and to the person in it. Don't ask me why. I shot bait. <laughs> that's what he was. Why don't you tell us about that, Captain? Yeah, yeah. Well, the story. it all began the day I saw this creature from the bridge over Matawan Creek. Hi. Congratulations. I knew exactly Thanks. You think that's the one? We won't know till we look inside, but uh, it's a juvenile great white. I'd say it's a pretty good candidate. Uh, I hope you'll make some time and tell us everything that happened. Sure. It'd be a great service to the museum. Dr. Nichols, it just, uh, how would someone go about getting into your line of work? Well, a uh, person could start by uh, showing up at my office sometime. It seems all of a sudden I have about 10 million questions to ask you. My friend, I could safely say the same thing. See you then. It was, without a doubt, the ride of a lifetime. I can tell you that. But there was a third person on that boat who deserves to be down here. What's your name, son? You two are telling it just fine. Thank you, Alex. Our cat will tell you the teeth are big. Very big. Big? This man has not seen big teeth on a shark. I can show you big teeth on a shark. Right, I mean, once I saw the shark, I can Later that day, Dr. Nichols opened up the juvenile white and found pieces of human bone and tissue in its stomach. The very same day, Lester Stilwell's body was recovered in the creek where Stanley died. Of the five shark victims, only young Joseph Dunn survived. Two months after the attack, he walked out of the hospital with his brother Michael, a pair of crutches, and the limp he'd have for the rest of his life. That winter, the Gulf Stream that had brought the deep ocean predators into shore moved back out to sea. The shark attacks of 1916 were over. <laughs>